This episode, we show you how we save costs while we were out of the water. Well, it's pretty straightforward, actually. All we did was we did and are doing all of the work ourselves. We bought all our materials before we got here and Lee already had all his tools we needed. The cost for Catalpa, which is 44 foot, to get pulled out and for the hard dock fees for 30 days is approximately 1500 Australian dollars. We have sanded Catalpa's entire hull and Lee is just grinding the deck 100 millimetres around from the edge to join the hull so that this way the edges will be completely sealed. How are you holding up, old dude? I feel like I'm 60. Oh, you don't look it. You look 55. <laughs> I was just saying to Lee how much deck space we've got without the blue box up there is and I can do yoga and he just busts out some moves. He's going to give us a little demo. It's uh, day 11 on the dry dock. We always start day 11 with a <laughs> cup of tea. Cheers, babe. <laughs> so we pretty much, we've been out for 11 days and we've sanded. <laughs> for 11 up, days. <laughs> blown up three sanding devices, or two sanders and a grinder. Too much sanding, guys. We had one day off because we went over to the mainland. But other than that, 10 days of sanding. But today, we should be seeing the last of it. We've just got to start with a bit of sanding. <laughs> and we should be doing a bit of painting by tomorrow morning. So tomorrow? it's the 11th today. We to today. No, we've got to wash down today. We've got to mask up. There's lots of little jobs in between. Thought we'd be painting today. Thought tomorrow that was morning. what this cup of tea was about. Tomorrow morning, nice and early. No noise till 8.30 here, so. Well, it doesn't get light till 7.30. We work till pretty late, but there's that little slow period around one o'clock where the heat is just intense. Yeah, we'll stop the Work slows lunch. down a little bit. He loses his work <laughs> to the air gun. <laughs> I find myself out there by myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But here's to another day, hard work, and hopefully it's going to look like we've done something in the next two days. Hopefully. Because at the moment it's not it's very slow progress. Tomorrow should be more fun. Yeah. We finished the sanding finally, got her all smooth, washed down, taped up, and prepped for the first coat of primer. It's painting day. We're all very excited. The tub is going to look way better in a couple of hours. Because we sanded back Catalpa almost completely to the concrete all over, we needed to paint the whole bottom with an epoxy primer before we painted her with the anti foul paint. If something should come between us. I promise I will stay Even when we're treading water And the colors seem to fade You know the truth of it is I was scared We could have paid for all this to be done, of course But for us doing it ourselves, it made it affordable I will not turn around Everything I am If all 
all should fall apart Here's a kiss to forgive and forget Cause I'm still learning and you're still burning in me So let's begin This journey that has no end Through pleasure and through pain We will never be the same A promise I will keep Everything I am Through the bitter and the sweet You know everything I have Belongs to you You know everything I have Belongs to you Two weeks and we finally got something done. We bought up the water line because it was always too low. Sarah puts too much crap on the boat. I'm slowly getting rid of it as we go along, but we left home with home. Probably just a ton and a half over, maybe two, but we're getting there. We're throwing stuff out, donating, giving. Let that dry out now and we'll get masked up again and uh, we can put a Coat on the sides. That'll look nice. Good job, team. step back and take a look. Okay guys, it's day two of coating. Yesterday we achieved the first primer coat. We've got our next coat today going on. Once we've done with this today, tomorrow will be a light sand, um, clean down with some alcohol, and then we'll be right for top coating. And there'll be two days of top coating, just depending on how many coats we put on. We'll get rid of the scaffold. Getting serious today, covered up with too much splatter from Sarah over me yesterday. She was painting more of me than the boat, so. Gotta get a bit of Sarah protection on. This paint, when it gets on your skin, it burns. It really burns, so <laughs> I thought we'd cover up today and be a little bit smarter. Seeing we've got them. A bit safer. Get into it, honey.
two weeks today since we've been pulled out and we just did the second coat of um, something on the boat of primer so and it's like two o'clock in the afternoon and we're done for the day so we're gonna go head off to the pool have a swim and maybe even get a pizza because we've been working our ass off and we're starving so yeah we're getting there so after we've uh, painted all the primer sand time again we had to sand it all back found a few bubbles as well that he patched so it delayed us a day with getting our final coat on but come on Santa baby <laughs> longer than we thought but we're going to climb over the aircon the aircon is in the doorway today we're painting the top coat on the sides of the boat which is good so hopefully we get it done today and then we can uh, get rid of our scaffolding we've done the rails then we'll have the sides done then we can antifoul and at least then we are ready to go back in the water and we'll decide whatever else we can fit in in the next two weeks Side's done. And the rail, it's white. Doesn't look as good as blue, but we didn't budget. have any blue paint. Budget didn't, we didn't have it in the budget for blue, we just had enough for white. <laughs> <laughs> so, the top is all white now, but it's done. But we can get rid of that scaffold now. It's costing us money every day, so we just wanted to get all those jobs done first that we needed it. And they're done. She looks good. Antifoul is a special paint that is painted on the bottom side of a boat that is always in the water to delay growth and barnacles. This blue is the first coat of antifoul that we painted on the day before. There is no difference between the colours. The shop just didn't have enough blue for us, so we got black as well. Get funky! It took two tins of the anti-foul to do one coat on Catalpa, and we bought five tins. So we were able to do two full coats, and then we went over it again where we could, and save some for the day when we get put back in the water. Come on and give it up. just finished our Annie fouling. I don't know, we've got another tin to put on but we're pretty much finished. It doesn't look as pretty as it did with the first coat because it was blue and it was really nice but the shop only had two tins of blue and it didn't have enough so. It's black and white baby. This looks good. Lee really liked the black. I wanted him to save the blue for the end but he wanted black and he won. What do you guys reckon? 
She black. I like the blue. Next time, it'll be blue. Looks like all those spots on your face. I got for extra freckles. You've got some nice blue eyeshadow going on. <laughs> oh, it's dreamy. Anyway, we've painted the top side and any fouled, now we've got to get onto the deck. But it's ready, she's ready to go back in. So whenever we're... Run out of on, money. Yeah, when we run out of money, we can get put back in at least. But we've had a good day. It was hot today. It was so hot, especially in these suits, isn't it? Yeah. Sweating our butts off. But a good day. I think we deserve a swim in the pool. I was thinking a cold for you, but yeah, this <laughs> one would be nice too. We can have both. So join us next time as we start on the top of Catalpa. <laughs>